This YouTuber is stealing other people's content while simultaneously copyright striking channels that are reacting to his stolen videos. And one could argue that he is amongst one of the most hated and cringeworthy channels on the platform. And you know what? It's only going to get worse from here. Guys, if you're new, welcome to the Jerry and Curtis show. Today's video is a bit of a strange one. Somehow, this man has managed to steal other people's funny content and just make it really, really unfunny. To call this person funny would be the equivalent of sitting down watching paint drying and calling it the most hilarious thing you've ever seen. And the person I'm talking about is known as The Manny Show. And already on his TikTok profile, his first line of his description is curing the universe with comedy. To be honest, you guys, I think he could rework his description a little bit. You know, something like uh, infecting the world with brain rot. When I say stealing other people's content, I don't mean, oh, oh, he's copying other people's videos. No, no, no. I mean, he's literally stealing it. Lip syncing them, in fact. I guess these days we're just labeling anything as comedy, so if that's the case, I will just join in. I think that was pretty funny. I better change my Instagram occupation to comedian. But, you know, who am I to judge? Comedy is subjective, so I'll leave it up to you guys, and I'm sure you'll have a lot of wisdom to share in the comment section, as, as usual. You guys are killing it. So let's take a look at one of his videos and just let me know if it's funny. That was, yeah, that was like, yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was so good. But I didn't find that clip comedic or funny even. Not even a little exhale came out of my mouth. I'm pretty sure the air went back the other way and came out of my asshole instead. And that was funnier than this clip. My ass fat was funnier. It was so unfunny that my left lung was in danger of collapsing due to a lack of oxygen. That's how unfunny this man is. And that wasn't even one of his stolen videos. He just copied someone else's idea. And that's totally fine. People copy each other all the time. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But somehow we managed to make it so uniquely shit that I wouldn't even bother calling it a copy. It's, 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 it's in its own category of just the bottom of the barrel terrible content. But besides his complete dog shit content, he made a series of videos fetishizing a serial killer and labeled it as comedic content. And that serial killer was Jeffrey Dahmer. We all know that there's nothing sexier than a man who kills people and literally eats them. But quick side note, guys, I'm gonna stop filming this video right now and continue this tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. And I gotta be honest, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to not laughing tomorrow morning. I'm just really tired right now, so I apologize for the next clip where I have my morning face and it's really puffy, although that will probably be funnier than, than this guy's channel, so. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the video. Just kidding, it's still the same time. You just got pranked. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> guys, welcome back. I'm wearing a hat because I had really bad bed hair. There's a few people have uploaded videos talking about how they've been copyright striked by this man. A man who steals other people's content is copyright striking people. As a first for everything, I suppose. But I firstly want to delve into how hilariously unfunny his content is. Keep it in mind, he has 11 million subscribers. So a pretty big channel for someone who has no talent whatsoever. Your teacher dies and your first emoji is how you react. Oh, well. This is gonna be good. Teacher dies, and your first emoji is how you react. This is the most generic content I've ever seen. You could do this with anything, it's so unoriginal. My first reaction to watching The Manny Show. <gasps> in case you didn't get it, it means I wanna shoot myself in the skull at point blank range with a 45 Magnum. The music that plays in my head when someone is talking about politics. The music that plays in my head when I watch The Manny Show. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, after watching his content so far, I somehow feel like I've attracted some sort of virtual brain tumour. I actually might die later, so this might be my last video. He just makes the most relatable, generic content you'll ever see, and chances are these are probably other people's ideas that he's just nicked. And to think that he copyright strikes people after stealing people's videos and not even credit in that. There's a whole new definition to the word of hypocrisy. But before we take a look at that, this shot was posted a month ago. Get out of my sandwich. No. <laughs> oh, that's really funny, guys. Way to go to him for jumping on the trend of the Baby Shark song. You know, the really trendy song. 
that was funny eight years ago. So now it's probably a good time to check out his stolen content. We can check out the most popular shots on his channel, and I'm sure you're gonna have a a great laugh at them. The spider versus the cat. 198 million views. His most popular shot. Bingo. So you might be thinking, wow, that's his most popular shot. Doesn't really look like a manny video. Yeah, that's because it's not. It's not his content. I'm pretty sure some lady just whipped out her phone and started recording a spider next to her cat. And he literally took that video. And what kind of essence did he add to it? Well, he added a couple of captions and a punching sound effect. Wow, I mean, it's practically his content at that point. He, he's he's altered it so much that I don't even recognize the original video. But then did he give credit to the original person who posted this? No, of course he didn't. He didn't say a single word about it. In fact, he didn't even mention that it wasn't his content. Instead, he promoted his own merch in the description. But that was his most popular shot on his channel, keeping in mind he's got, again, 12 million subscribers. Not 11, I was mistaken last time. But he's most popular for, you know, lip syncing to other people's audio. So already, his whole content is based around funny things that other people do. And somehow he managed to make them unfunny. And once again, it's pretty ironic that he has the audacity to strike other people just because he doesn't like the fact that people are making videos on him and calling him out. But here's another piece of content which he didn't exactly steal, but it's just a great example of uh, how talented this man is. I mean, yeah, this TikTok is a pretty weird TikTok to begin with. I mean, what do you want more than anything right now? A baby. And it's like a 60-year-old grandma with a very young man. Bit weird to begin with, but let's see um, what the man he shot to say. I'm really excited, guys. I think he's gonna have a lot to say in this video, and I I'm really excited to see his point of view of things, so. What do we want more than anything right now? Wow, I really appreciate the sheer hard work that the Manny Show puts into his content. And I'm also appreciative of how much he added to that conversation. There was so much essence, truthfulness and authenticity behind his conversation that I might actually follow him now. In fact, he's so insightful and comedic, ladies and gentlemen, that he posted several videos fetishizing, I guess you could say, Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, the man who cooks people and eats them. So in this next shot, he's doing some sort of dance in front of a TV and in the background is uh, the, the show Jeffrey Dahmer and it's a scene where he's deadlifting and his body's all sweaty. Whenever you tell me I'm pretty, that's when my hunger really hits me. Your little heart goes pitter patter. I want you living on a platter, man. Jeffrey Dahmer is so fine. Wrong. Evan Peters is so fine. People are disgusting. Yeah, as I mentioned, I've seen that as an issue recently uh, in the past few years where people, you know, have some sort of sexual attraction to the literal serial killer being played by an actor. Not the actor, finding the actor sexy, but the actual serial killer that's being portrayed. He also did this one as well, where he recorrected his mistake <laughs> and put me watching Evan Peters play Jeffrey Dahmer, where he's kind of like, looks like he's having some sort of orgasm over the exact same scene once again. So it's good to see that he's being creative with using different clips. Second of all, I just noticed that the bag of crisps or the bag of chips is opened upside down. He should be terminated just for that. That is absolutely criminal. But now moving on to a channel called Engreen, which actually posted a video titled The Manny Show Wants My Channel Deleted. And that was posted three days ago. And in the thumbnail, it says copyright strike. So as you can see, your video is removed due to a copyright takedown request. Strike one was received on the 28th of June, 2024, which is only a couple of days ago. A copyright owner asked us to take your video down because because they believe it contains material that violates their copyright. If you get three of these strikes, your account, along with the associated channels, will be subject to termination. You have one strike. Isn't that just completely and utterly ironic? That the Manny Show is striking people for stealing his content when he himself rips off other people's videos. And do you know what's even more hilarious? Is that Engwin's video is completely under fair use. The same way that this video would be completely under fair use. Engwin's video is just like mine, where we're reacting to it and commenting about it and creating a new conversation. If he receives another two of those, his channel's gone. And if he has a second channel, well, that's gone too. All because Engwin called out the Manny show for being really unfunny and stealing people's content. He just didn't like it. He got pissed off about it and upset and cried like a little baby. And as you can see here, is the copyright request removal, which the video that was used was called That One Friend Who Hates K-Pop. And the content found during the video was from one minute and 48 seconds to two minutes and one second. The Manny Show striked his video down 
for a little 13 second clip that was used in the middle of it. Total copyright abuse. As we can see, fair use, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education and research. Hopefully YouTube does the correct thing and removes the copyright strike and punishes the Manny show for it. I try not to run clips for too long because of this reason. Because people can just strike me down. Or YouTube would think I'm reusing content. But it's just fucked up that someone can just snap their finger and take down a YouTube video. And it just seems like no one actually went to review the video that was being copyright taken down. Because I already know if a human reviewed it, they would see, oh, okay, this is just a reaction video. This isn't copyright infringement. And I agree with Angwin on this point. I feel like the copyright system on YouTube is extremely flawed. I don't think real humans even check the videos. I'm pretty sure it's AI. And all it really comes down to is somebody making a video criticizing a person, and then that said person gets their feelings hurt because of a YouTube video. Okay guys, welcome back to a new video. That YouTuber, Curtis Price, is a fat fucking pussy. <gasps> what did you just- What did you just call me? <sighs> no, not that fat, surely. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> Come on YouTube, take his video down. <laughs> and that is completely unfair. Just because you get your feelings hurt on the internet doesn't mean you need to resort to abusing the copyright system. You know what I call that, ladies and gentlemen? Cowardly behavior. The Manny Show is a coward. Write that in the comment section. Coward. In fact, this situation has blown up so quickly that even Moist Critical has made a video about it. Something seriously needs to be done about these copyright abusers because they are taking full advantage of YouTube's broken system right now. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below. Also, check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy these ones. Sorry if I wasn't as energetic as usual. A little bit under the weather, but that's fine. I should be okay by the next video.